Welcome back, everybody. We are here again in the test kitchen above Frontera Grill um, in the fabulous kitchen that you get to test all your recipes and products in. And yes. we've got a guest today. Why don't you introduce we our guest? We have Giuseppe Tentori from GT Fish and Oyster, one of my favorite places. Welcome to the test thank kitchen you. and thank you for playing our little game with us today. I'm excited. Yeah, well, it's, uh, it's always fun because what we try to do here is just give our listeners the opportunity to kind of cook along with us, something simple, something that has basically a, a special ingredient that we've chosen, then five other ingredients that you might have in your pantry. I don't know, maybe you have to stop by your grocery store to get them, or maybe you have to stop by your restaurant to get it, I don't know. <laughs> and then the whole idea is that it's something that's fast to make. It takes about 15 minutes, and we just do it as a sort of uh, gentle, a gentle challenge. Gentle, gentle challenge. Gentle challenge. Okay. Gentle challenge. So our secret, uh, our, our seasonal ingredient today is fennel. Fennel. Fennel, I love yes. fennel. What do you guys think about fennel? Do you like fennel? I love fennel. You probably like, grew up with I grew fennel. up eating fennel. Yeah, see, and I didn't grow up. I didn't have fennel for the first time until I was probably 25 years old. And remember, I lived in Mexico. I, it, I only learned the word for fennel in Spanish about three years ago uh, because they don't have it. They don't even know what it is uh, there. How do you say now, Spanish? Now, enojo. 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 And what is it in, in Italian? Finocchio. Finocchio, of course, of course, okay. of course. And, and it's very interesting that a lot of the young chefs that are doing sort of modern versions of Mexican food now, they're all having farmers grow it for them in Mexico City and they're using it because it actually marries beautifully with the flavors of the Mexican kitchen. It has, it has that anise, almost anise. licorice-y, right? right? It does. Right. That's okay. why people also are not afraid to use the fennel because it's too sweet for some of it. Uh -huh. I introduced that to my wife three years ago. She's in love with that now. Yeah. Right, cool. She's like, I want to fennel my salad all the time. You know, right. And you said that. It's like a lot of us get introduced to fennel by way of a shredded fennel salad or yes. fennel in another salad and it's got crunchiness like almost celery like crunchiness it's very refreshing and too. very yeah. refreshing yeah. really beautiful and all parts of it i think can be used this is going to be Sorry. interesting as you know giuseppe 15 <laughs> minutes on the clock so yes. are you ready i'll ready set uh, go let us begin 15 okay, minutes 15 okay minutes. we start two minutes right okay. now all right we yes. got a timekeeper over here uh we're starting with it looks like giuseppe you, you're chopping up the fennel almost like an onion right Correct. I'm gonna try to make a little couscous almost out of this fennel. Oh my god. So it's got a little crunchiness. Did you say couscous? Yeah, you know, chop is very small. Okay. You can make couscous with cauliflower too these days. But we'll do Everybody's the fennel. doing it. So you're really chopping it fine. And Rick, you've got some bacon you've chopped up roughly and you're putting it in a skillet? That's right. And about um, sort of a little bit smaller than half inch pieces. And I've got that. I'm gonna cook that a little bit faster than what you would do it if you wanted to get just crispy bacon because I want it to stay soft on the inside but browned on the outside. So I notice you guys are just using the fennel bulb at the bottom. Are you going to keep the fronds, the top, that sort of it looks like dill uh, as something else or is that discarded? I'm, I'm going to use it. What are you going to do? I think I'm going to use the decoration too. Yeah. Okay. It's a nice flavor. Well, I, what I really like about it so much is that it has the same flavor, but it does get more green. It does have a sort of green-like flavor to it. Okay. So what, what, what's your strategy, by okay. the way? What are you doing? My strategy <laughs> is pretty simple. It's something that I love to make at home, and that is leek and potato soup, but I'm going to do leek and potato soup with fennel in it. Ooh. Okay. Oh. So I'm just going to start here with, uh, so I've got my my bacon starting to brown a little bit now and I'm going to take a couple of leeks here I have a little pancetta. pancetta. Oh gosh, so here we all doing cured uh, pork products here. You know, we are in the Midwest. People yes, love pork. Absolutely. And what's your strategy? You, oh, it's shrimp now too. You know, GT fish in Austin, we got to have some fish in here. Okay. So is this a particular type of, uh, is it a white, I can't see a gulf shrimp? What is so it? So we have a, like a gulf shrimp, like a U10, a very small. U10 just means 10 to a pound? 10 to a pound, correct. You're going to put a little salt and nice. roll them up. So you've, lo you've laid out the strips of, of pancetta. Yeah, so it's like a, you know. And you put the shrimp in it, you're rolling it up, like a bacon wrapped scallop idea. Correct. Okay. I've got my fennel already cut up there. But then I'm going to also put the bay, uh, some potato. What kind of potato? This is the Yukon Gold potato, which I think works really well for something like this. And I'm going to cut that into small cubes. And then I'm going to microwave the two of those together to steam them to doneness. And I'll check it after about a minute or so and see if it's really steaming. Mm -hmm. If it's not steaming so that the plastic has risen up and looks uh, puffy, then I'll just add a little bit of water, like a tablespoon or so to it. And Giuseppe, you're chopping this fennel now a little differently, right? So I'm going to some cubes, like a two, one inch cube. Okay. So what it can do with this, it can do like it's a nice canopy too. Canopy? Yeah, oh, okay. It's a little bite. Okay. You, put a, you know, it's oh, a little it's beautiful. crouton. Nice. And what we're going to do, right. I have more fish. 
I have a little tuna. Tuna. Sure, you can find that in your grocery store. A little hockey tuna, like tuna, it's a little hockey tuna. It's the yeah. hockey I, I, tuna. I see, I see, yeah, absolutely. This is. Um, I see sushi yeah. grade tuna all the time uh, at the grocery uh, store. That's actually, you can, cute. you can get it yeah. sometimes. Not all the time, but you can Just get it. Just the right it. store. Just the right store. Yeah, absolutely. like a Japanese grocery store, maybe. Uh, or, yeah. Well, that for sure. Whole foods they have it these days. The whole they do have it. Yes, I was going to say. Okay, all right. They have it there. That's all right. So you're just gonna, well, I can't see the color over there, but tell me, describe what you're looking for. So I'm for. gonna just flip the shrimp right here. Okay. Nice color here, nice and gold. Just kind of golden brown. Golden All right. brown, That's you can a see nice shrimp that change in color. So it's really changing color from pink to, from my white to pink. That's what we want to flip it. Yeah, okay. And now Rick, you're pulling the fronds I'm off just, this? I'm just those feathery little fennel fronds. I think a lot of people toss this. I think they do no, too. They, they just, they think and I think it's really wonderful. Yeah, and I mean, you, I still some from you, Rick. Yes, please, help yourself as much as you want. <laughs> That's what, we have fun here, okay? You came prepared. <laughs> this will go into the middle territory here if yeah. anybody wants to use that. And Giuseppe, what have you added to this uh, tuna that you picked up at the grocery store? I have a little olive oil yeah? and olive soy. Oil. That's all I did. Olive oil and soy. Right. Nothing else. Okay. Nice. Okay. Tell us about GT Fish, by the way. So and GT oyster. Fish and Oyster is like a seafood restaurant. We carry like a lot of small plates, uh, about 30 different dishes on the menu of uh, like three to four bite plates. Mm -hmm. And uh, basically it's an oyster bar. So you're putting your little canapes here, your little one fennel. inch dice pieces of fennel on the plate. Correct. And you're just gonna add the tuna I'm on gonna top? add the tuna on top. And after I'm done with that, I'm gonna garnish with a little fennel front. All right. And just a little, one little bite. Okay. I think about tataki, but a different way with fennel. Ah, that's a good idea. All right, and Rick is checking his steamed potatoes and uh, fennel. And fennel. But you're the, sautéing leeks here. The leeks are sautéing with the bacon, and you'll notice that they've now sort of softened. They've turned to, well, not that that light green that they were when they first went in here. They've now darkened a little bit. Everything is softened in color and texture. And the flavor, of course, once they start to brown, will be so beautiful in this soup. Okay, we've got uh, about seven minutes to go, it looks All like. Right. Seven minutes, we're just a little halfway, halfway there. How you doing over there, Giuseppe? Okay? I'm doing okay. Yeah? I'm not going down yet, but... Are we, have a, are we having ready. a party here? You got enough there for about eight people, <laughs> but that's okay. I'll, I won't walk at seconds. Okay. Um, how are, did these steam okay? They did, but the... the so no, it's still just a tiny bit crispy. Yeah. So I'm going to give it another minute it's of a, cooking. It's a pretty tough, hearty vegetable, though. It I mean, is. You really, it's, yeah. It's slightly fibrous. Now you're putting the fronds just a little bit as a garnish a on top of the tuna. on top of the tuna. So if you think about it, you know, you made like a few seconds, like a beautiful canopy here, too. Yeah, that is beautiful, yeah. I can't believe you're doing that. Assuming somebody does all the sourcing and chopping and of the chop tuna for you, yes. <laughs> does it have to be a certain type of tuna, though? I mean, when you go to the uh, store? Pokey. Poke tuna? Poke tuna. Okay. So uh, deal is like it's a uh, big eye tuna. Okay. And literally, like these days, like most of the groceries that they have. Should it, but it, I mean, now in terms of sustainability, are we, is there an issue there with the tuna or no? I will stay with Hawaiian tuna. Hawaiian, yes. okay. All right. Uh, you've got a little broth here that you've had on the yeah, stove Yeah, I just going wanted right. it to be hot when we started here. Is it and chicken I'm broth? A, it's chicken broth, okay. yes. And when I'm cooking like Wednesday night dinner at my house, it's always, Boxed broth because yeah. that's there. You can get some really good stuff there. Of course. Okay, so I want this fennel to be soft enough that it's not. You know, I, I feel like it's gone from the crunchy to to now just past that. Okay. And we got about five minutes to go. Just under five minutes. Uh, this um, is uh, leek and and bacon. Potato and fennel is all going to go together. So the leek and bacon were sautéed. The potato and the fennel were in the, microwave. in the microwave. Now you're just pouring in the warm or hot chicken broth. That's correct. And the, now, Giuseppe, what have you done over there? You're assembling some things into a large so bowl. So what I have is like is julienne fennel. That the julienne I cut. Of fennel. Julienne, I cut it with a knife. My wife always cut it with a mandolin. Uh -huh. It's very easier to do at home. And I mix it with a little arugula and a little balsamic and okay. salt. Arugula, balsamic. Are you staying within the five ingredient limit over there? I'm just One, wondering. One, two, three, four, he counts five. Bam. Oh, all right. So all I right. have uh, pork, right. shrimp, arugula, burrata, pancetta, and uh, pancetta. Five or yeah, we're, five. We're right in there. Okay, you got five. So you pureed the soup, Rick. It's now back I into the pot that back you had to stop into with. the pot. I'm going to give it just a little dash of water here because I think it needs that. Give it some seasoning with salt and pepper. And we've got about just under three minutes to go. Okay. 
Well, I think we're going to make it just fine. So Giuseppe, you're going to have the salad with the shrimp and the pancetta on top of it. Yep. So okay. I'm going to cut the shrimp that I do with the pancetta like in three pieces. So this is going to be my crouton for the pancetta, for the salad. Oh, that looks really good. It smells great in here. I love, again, the bacon, the leeks, potatoes, fennel. I have to say that you can make this soup entirely without the chicken broth. Oh. Um, and it makes, it, it really focuses the vegetable flavors. And sometimes I just make it with water, I have to say. Oh, okay. Uh, leeks, I mean, uh, uh, fennel or no fennel, it's just a really super delicious soup. Okay. So Giuseppe is now plating his salad. He's got his arugula balsamic. And fennel. A little fennel. You're going to top it with your little croutons. Shrimp of crouton. Shrimp, pancetta wrapped shrimp, I should say. Um, so if you think about it, this is an entire meal, too. And you stand on for dinner. Absolutely. And this then you have a little cheese to put on top. Oh, a little burrata? A little burrata. Nice. <laughs> wow. Of course, the Italian's going to bring burrata. Come on, yeah. Steve. That's good stuff. Oh my gosh. So we have pancetta and, and burrata. Oh, my mouth is watering looking awesome. at that burrata. I love that. Yeah, you got the Italian, but you also got the seafood guy bringing in yes. like a couple kinds of seafood. Now, Rick, how did you, how okay. you finish your soup though? Well, I just took, I, I didn't puree all of the fennel and potatoes. I didn't use up all of the leeks and the bacon. So I added those to the soup mm. and then just put a little bit of the, the, um, the tops of the fennel on there. And I, I missed my last ingredient. We have here, a minute to go, actually. Which is the creme fraiche. Oh, oh yeah. We could use that sour cream. I mean, if he's going to use burrata, I mean, I, I got to use yeah. some creme fraiche. Sure. I, I'm surprised it's not okay. like a Mexican crema, though. You're well, going with creme fraiche. You know, I, this is actually more in, in a European style here that I'm doing this. So I just decided to use the creme fraiche. Yes, the lesson. But this is very much yeah. like, I just came back from Mexico City, and this is what the crema in Mexico City tastes like. So they call it Mexican crema, but it's really the same thing as the creme fraiche. It's more okay. sour or no? No, it's just same? the same. It's just the and, same. And how, really did you good stuff. how did you finish your salad? So I finished my salad, put a little bit of balsamic vinaigrette on top, and I put the fennel front. So impressive. Done. Guys, exactly, 15 minutes. 15 well done, minutes. well done. We can do it. All right, <laughs> very well done. Um, we are going to taste this. Moment wanna, of truth time. I want to dig in. Let's go with our guest first, okay. and we should yes. start with the can of paste, right? I, I, yes, this, well, my this mouth, mouth is watering thinking about these guys. So it's mm. just the raw fennel, right? Mm -hmm. You didn't do, you didn't blanch raw it. Raw fennel. Right? So it has nice crunchiness mm. and the saltiness with the tuna and the soy. I love that. East meets west. That's great. Yeah, very very Ming, yeah, very Ming side. Yeah. That's really good. I like that. On the the beautiful raw tuna on mm -hmm. the raw fennel. On raw fennel. So it's it's brilliant. Raw. It's beautiful. It's very healthy too. Delicious. Okay, salad no, I time. Love, I love stuff like that. Salad time. Okay. So this is, again, just remind us, there's chopped fennel. What's, what's within the fennel? You chopped it up and so seasoned it. So I chopped it. it up, the small one. Um, I like the extra. When you, when you chop small fennel, it's a little more crunchy. It's easy to eat it. Mm -hmm. When you julienne it, sometimes kind of like, it's very hard to put them in your mouth. Mm -hmm. Now usually you chopped it almost mm -hmm. to that couscous. Like place, a couscous right? style, yeah. Mm -hmm. I want to oh, taste man. Like Many of the shrimp. The arugula. Now, so the what you're learning here is that when you're cooking fast, if you use a cured pork product, oh, it always <laughs> oh, makes everything yeah. taste oh, Exactly. <laughs> and maybe a little bit of burrata that's really creamy and yeah, yummy yeah. and runny. The pancetta is very salty, so they give you a nice uh, balance to the salad, a too. Really, a really lovely combination of amazing yeah, ingredients. Peppery arugula, mm -hmm. and again, this nice yeah. fennel. Mm. So great a nice crunch, great texture. That's beautiful. Does That's a great really, really I'm gonna put it on the menu now. Mm. See? You have <laughs> it should be on the menu. All right, let's you, go. Let's go. Okay. Let's go, Rick Scott. Okay. I'm excited for right. this soup. So my, this is super homey. Like really, this is the kind mm. of thing, uh, a Tuesday night dinner kind of thing for mm. me. Mm. My bacon soup. Do you like? There's that a bacon? little bit of a, a fennel wow. curveball in that potato leek, mm -hmm. which is so it, good, so light. Out of the richness light, from the creme fraiche. I'm going in for seconds. That and a salad. Mm. Maybe some bread, good bread. That's what I, I love to have. Mm. I think I think we start with the canapes, mm -hmm. and then we have yeah. a little soup, and then we have yeah. a little salad. salad. Oh my God! This Done. Tuesday night dinner. Thing. Yes, fifteen awesome. minutes. Awesome. Recipe is it? The recipe is going to be on our Facebook page, the Feed Podcast. We're also going to have all the video on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, which is the Feed Podcast. Giuseppe Tentori from GT Fish and Oyster. <laughs> Thank you, Giuseppe. Grazie. It's good to Grazie. see you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you, Steve. Great. It's a lot of fun. Pleasure.